Words are powerful. Spoken words. Next, your thoughts. What are you thinking? Are you being critical? Are you being judgmental? Be compassionate. Be loving. Be understanding. Everything in life is connected. Remember that. This is, is the Kevin Trudeau Show. I am exposing the corruption in government and in major multinational corporations. We're telling you the things that they don't want you to know that will make your life better. Number one, in your house, you should have words. That's why having powerful books in your house. What kind of books do you have in your house? Do you have a Bible? Do you have a Quran? Do you have a, a Zohar? Do you have uh, any of the texts from the Indian tradition? These are powerful, attra- they create attractive fields. Do you have a Guru Kev lesson book in, in your house? Do you have positive thinking books in your house? Books that are positive and uplifting and inspirational and motivational. That's good. Do you have things of beauty in your house? By the way, this test was not only with words, such as the word thank you, the word love, the word wisdom but also the spoken word, the written word, and thoughts. Since a thought creates a frequency, one of the tests was, can we put water next to something that's ugly on the aesthetic scale versus something that's beautiful on the aesthetic scale, like a beautiful painting or a beautiful sculpture? And the results were the same. When you took polluted water, the structure was all crazy. And then when you put that water next to a flower or next to a beautiful sculpture or next to just a picture, uh, 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 an image of the Mona Lisa or uh, 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 Michelangelo's David. It didn't have to be the real sculpture. The water structure changed. So there's an, a wave, an aesthetic wave that comes from beauty that can affect everything in its presence. And it affects water. We know it now scientifically. And since it affects water, Theoretically, it should affect all the water in your body. And if it affects your water in your body from going from a structure that's non-cohesive, non-coherent, into a beautiful structure like these here, here's the picture of thank you and wisdom and truth and eternal angel, I love you, peace. When the water becomes that, as opposed to you fool, you make me sick, evil, or the polluted water before prayer, When it changes to like the polluted water after simply saying a prayer for just a few seconds, you can see how instantaneously it changes. It has to have a positive effect on your psyche, your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, and what you manifest and create in your life. In other words, what your life is like, the conditions of your life, life, what you manifest in your life. So think about that. This is why one of the Guru Cub lessons talks about the expanded golden rule. Now you understand the science behind the expanded golden rule. And the expanded golden rule, remember the golden rule says do unto others as you want them to do to you. That was the golden rule. Do unto others as you want them to do to you. That was the golden rule. The expanded golden rule says talk to other people as you want them to talk to you. That's number one. Number two, talk about other people behind their back when they're not around. Talk about other people as you want, wish that they would be talking about you. Are you criticizing somebody? Are you pointing out where they stumbled? You know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, this guy did that. You know, this guy did that. This guy did that. Do you want people to talk about you? You know, 30 years ago, uh, you were 18 and you screwed a 14-year-old girl. That's called statutory rape. Did anybody want to talk about that? You stole money out of your mother's purse. Do you want to talk about that? But you're out there talking about what happened to somebody else 30 years ago. Talk about other people as you wished that they would talk about you. Number three, think about other people as you wish they would think about you. How are you thinking about people? Thoughts are energy and frequency. We proved that, Dr. Emoto proved that just by thinking a thought and looking at water, it changed the molecular structure. So how are you thinking about people? Think about that. Then, 
do t the actions you take toward others, any action you take, would you want other people to do the same actions toward you? And the expanded goals and rules goes one step further. Talk to yourself about yourself as you really wish, as you really wish you would be talking to yourself. We talk negative thoughts to ourselves. So talk positive words to ourselves. Next, think positive thoughts about yourself. You got to love yourself first. So you you should have positive self talk. Talk, you dummy, Kevin, you dummy. Don't say that. Cancel, cancel, Kevin. That's okay. That was a that was an error, but you learn from that. You're better than that. You can do better next time. That's positive self talk. So talk to yourself in positive ways. Think about yourself in positive ways not negative ways. Because if you think about yourself in a negative way, you're changing the molecular structure of the body, and the water inside your body and your brain. And that means the frequencies you put out aren't very powerful. You're not manifesting the goals, dreams, and things you want in life. That's critical. And treat yourself with love. Are you pounding down, you know, drink after drink after drink? Are you loving your body? Are you putting garbage in your body? Are you loving your body? Are you not exercising? Are you loving your body? Treat your body, treat yourself with love. That's critical. That's the expanded golden rule. And when you think about this, one of the biggest things that we do is we criticize others. In, with the internet today, this is so, so prevalent. And so many of you are hurting yourself. You're not hurting the people you're criticizing. There are people out there that criticize President Trump. And they say evil things about him. They say very mean, nasty things about him. They call him names. They criticize him. They point out things that he did. That he did 20, 30 years ago. Oh, he said this about women. He did this. He did that. That's ancient history. The past is a canceled check. Think about it. It's over. So what? So what? You're not hurting him. You're hurting yourself by putting that venom out, that hate, that negativity. So what? We all make mistakes in life. I've made many. We all have judgments that weren't very smart that we made. We made errors in judgment. We all made mistakes. We all had errors in judgment. We all look back and saying, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I did that. That wasn't a smart decision at the time. But we don't, we, we don't look back with regret. We look back with saying, I wouldn't be the person today if I didn't do that, if I didn't make that, quote, error at the time or make that choice at the time. All of us, by the way, have made mistakes. As Jesus said, let you without sin cast the first stone. There are people out there that put documentaries or things on YouTube about me in a negative way. Oh, Kevin bounced some checks. Well, no kidding. I, when I was 21, I bounced seven checks. I made a mistake. It was an error. There was no evil intent. I immediately paid it back. Hey, and, and I, you know, I, I had to plead guilty to seven counts of larceny. Well, it was 21. Other people get a drunk driving when they're 21 or get caught selling marijuana when they're 21 and go to jail. Many Hollywood celebrities have done that. People make mistakes. There are errors. We learn from this and we move forward. Why, do you, why bring it up? Why bring up this and that and this and that? What does it matter? You're not hurting me. You're not hurting President Trump. And then there are people that are saying horrible things about President Biden or this candidate, or they're go attacking Robert uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. They're attacking him. Oh, he had killed a bear and put it in the Central Park, or he messed around with some uh, babysitter or whatever when he was nineteen. What are you talking? I mean, look, the past is the past. People learn from mistakes, and there is no one out there. None of you are without sin. We learn from that. St. Paul, remember him? He wrote 90% of the New Testament of the Bible. St. Paul 
St. Paul, St. Paul, had a past as well, didn't he? He killed Christians. St. Paul hated Jesus, hated Christians, and St. Paul went around as a Roman citizen, gathering up and looking for and hunting down Christians and sending them to the lion's den to be eaten by lions. He had a pretty bad past. But then he saw the light. He got struck while riding on a horse. And Jesus appeared to him and talked to him and said, you're going to change. And he did. Think about that. If St. Paul can change and become a saint, how about me or Donald Trump or anyone or you or anyone? Forgive the past, my friends. Don't criticize people. Don't keep pointing out where the strong man stumbled, where the doer of deeds could have done better. Remember that quote by Roosevelt? It's not the critic who counts. So there are people out there with videos against Deepak Chopra. What a wonderful man Deepak Chopra is. Look, I don't know his past and all the things he may have did or didn't do to his son or this person or that person. But today, who's Deepak Chopra today? And don't you love him? And can't you love everyone? Because within us, it's God. Remember, what you see in others is really what you see in yourself. And when you criticize others and you hate me, you're not talking about me. You're talking about yourself. The real question is, what's wrong with you? Why are you hurting so much that you need to hate someone so much that you never even met? Why do you hate Trump or hate Deepak Chopra or hate Tony Robbins? There are people out there saying terrible things about Tony Robbins. Oh, he did this, he did that. They were doing, they're saying terrible things about Alex Jones. They're saying terrible things about Russell Brand. My gosh, I don't know what they did with this girl 20 years ago. Who are they today? Love them unconditionally, without condition, and without exception. Give out compassion as opposed to criticism and judgment. The more you judge others, remember the scripture says, judge not, lest you be judged. By the same measure that you judge others, it will be measured against you. This is karma, my friends. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. So love and peace. And in doing so, you're not just helping the person you're sowing love and understanding and compassion toward by being not critical and being not judgmental, but being understanding and compassionate and sending love. But more importantly, you're empowering yourself. So for all the people out there that are sending and producing hate videos against Tony Robbins or Deepak Chopra or Russell Brand or Alex Jones or me or anyone out there that's trying to help and empower people today, I can say that we've all made mistakes. We all look back and we scratch our head and go, what was I thinking when I did that? That wasn't very good. That wasn't very smart. But today, who are we and where are we going? And I would point out, What's in your past? If we were to look, what would we find? But we don't care. We don't look. Because we're not here to criticize you. We're here to love you. And it doesn't matter if you hate me and you say critical things about me. Oh, Kevin Trudeau's a scammer. He's this or that. Or Tony Robbins ripping people off. And he's a, he's a sexual abuser. And, you know, he beat his ex-wife. Or Russell Brand attacked women. And he did this. And Donald Trump is a misogynist. And he's this and that. Or Alex Jones is a liar and this and that. You can say all the negative things about anybody. And everything you say about others could be said about you. Think about it. You're hurting yourself. So for every single person, we do this on a small scale. We judge our neighbor. We judge the person in the restaurant. We judge our parents, our kids, our friends, our relatives, our co-workers, our boss. We judge the politicians that we never met. And we judge and criticize 
people that we don't even know. People that judge and criticize me have never met me. That's the amazing thing. It's like the people that say bad things about me never met me. <laughs> How what do they know? What they read? Think about it. So in your life, if there's something that you could do to really improve the quality of your life, I would suggest don't criticize. And every time you find yourself being critical of others, just say cancel, cancel and send love and compassion. And don't judge. Every time you do that, say cancel, cancel and so love and compassion. And in doing so, you're going to start changing the frequencies you're putting out and you're going to start changing the structure of the water that's in your body, your life is going to change. So if we look at this, it breaks down to, number one, remember, what written words are you writing? Are you writing emails and texts that have powerful words? Thank you so much. Sending you love and blessings. That's a nice text. Versus you're saying, I'm really upset with you. Which text is going to create a beautiful crystal in water? Which of those two texts? Send texts that as you write, I'm going, is this going to create a beautiful crystal in water? And if the text is no, change it so it does. And if you're sending a text message or an email, make sure they all contain words that will create a beautiful crystal in water. Because as you're sending it, it's creating beautiful crystals of water in you. Your energy field's changing. Everything is changing for the better for you. It's going to improve the quality of your life. And you're sowing love in the world. What you sow, you will reap, my friends. So words, emails, and texts. Nobody writes letters anymore, but if you did, watch those. And then look around your house. What books do you have? What do you have for written on the walls? What are you listening to for lyrics and music? That's written word. Next, spoken words. What are you saying? Every time you say something like, I hate that person, the word hate, is that going to create a beautiful, structured, crystalline water or not? Change it. Saying, you know, there's things I love better. See the difference? I eat something. I don't like it. I can say, well, you know, there's a lot of things I love a lot better than this. Notice the words that come out of my mouth. Love. Better. That's creating powerful images and pictures. I'm still getting the same message across, but from a positive spin. So watch the words that come out of your mouth, the words you say to other people, about other people, and the words you say to yourself. Words are powerful. Spoken words. Next, your thoughts. What are you thinking? Are you being critical? Are you being judgmental? Be compassionate. Be loving. Be understanding. Everything in life is connected. Remember that. Everything is connected. Hi, I'm Kevin Trudeau. This is everything they don't want you to know about to improve the quality of your life. Broadcasting every Monday and Wednesday, two days a week now. Monday and Wednesday at 1 o'clock Chicago time. Make sure you tune in and subscribe to the channel and share these shows with everyone you know.